Hello and welcome to Brookdale Newsmakers, your home for what's going on in and around campus. My name is Dominic Sama and here with me today is Victoria Bahari who recently was starred on the show Domino Masters on, Fo on the local Fox affiliate and is also a member of the dance club and a newly graduated member of the class of 2022. So welcome Victoria. Hi, thanks for having me. Why did you decide on Brookdale Community College uh, coming out of, I believe, Ocean Township High School, is it? Yeah, it's actually a funny story. I was all set to go to Pace University, but with the pandemic and everything, I actually deferred a year and decided to just focus on my acting career. But with the pandemic and everything, there were just no auditions, so I figured, hey, why don't I do a, a couple classes at Brookdale? And I fell in love with the school, and I canceled my, my Pace deferral and I just stayed here for the two years. So what has the experience been like as a whole would you say? Oh my gosh it has been seriously more than anything I could have expected. I've made so many great friends here. All of my professors have been so caring and so amazing and I've been really getting involved. I'm in a bunch of honor societies, clubs. That's good and um, Speaking of clubs, you say um, you were in the dance club. You actually had a recital, I yes. believe it was last week from when we're filming this. And um, you, again, well, again, you had a recital and uh, you said it was a lot of fun. So talk about that more. Oh, yeah, it was so much fun. You know, the dance club and I, we've been working so hard for this. We've actually been working on the dances since the fall. I was in three group dances, and it was actually all holiday themed. So I was in a mini New Year's group, a Christmas group, a Halloween group, and then I did a solo to sing it in the rain. It was actually a tap solo. Wow. And uh, other than that, you also, uh, I, I mentioned before, you were starred on the local Vox affiliate uh, on Domino Masters. Yes. So did you know anything about building up, building up dominoes in the beginning or before? I did not. I actually had to learn for the show. So it's kind of funny. Um, so obviously it's on Fox TV. It's a major network. And I saw the audition on a casting website for actors. So I, I think I was really there for flavor and spice. But of course, I really had to learn the craft so that I could have a chance. That's good. And talk about uh, who you met on that show. I, I, I have oh. to add, I, I, you did say you met uh, a guy that maybe some of the viewers may know about, uh, Eric Stone Street. He was, uh, he was Cam from Modern Family. Uh, actually, my mom, once I told her that uh, one of my friends uh, was on the show with him, uh, she, uh, she went crazy. She was so excited and, uh, oh. you know, she was very excited for you and uh, talk about that. Oh, my goodness. It was a pleasure working with Eric. Honestly, it was a dream come true to be working with someone who has so much experience in the entertainment industry. And unfortunately, it didn't make it into the cut of the show, but we actually had some scenes together. <laughs> like, we actually like did like some improv together, and I, I danced for him. It was really funny. We just had a really good time together. And I also met Vernon Davis, a professional football player. He was also wow. one of the judges. And Danica McKellar from The Wonder Years. She is a Hallmark icon, as, wow. well as, Steve, as well as Steve Price. He is a domino icon. Oh, my goodness. Yes. <laughs> so you, you had the experience out in uh, California. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had seriously one of the best moments of my life. And for someone that goes to Brookdale Community College going out there, uh, you know, it gives us, uh, it gives us an amazing rep, and uh, it's good to have you out there representing the college. I appreciate it. I'm always happy to. <laughs> And, uh, you know, going back to Brookdale, though, you know, you're going to be moving on, I believe, Pace, right? I'm actually not sure yet, but as wow, of now, okay. Pace, since obviously, you know, I'm a transfer student to the other schools, I will be getting all of my letters by June. Okay. And so most likely Pace. Wow. And um, looking back, if you look back on the entire two years of your time here in Brookdale, you said that you had a great time with the professors. You had an, an amazing time making friends and getting involved. What would you say to the student coming into Brookdale, um, coming in next September, um, that they, they are looking to get involved but are a little bit shy? What would you say to that? 
I would tell them not to worry. Honestly, I was a little worried too. All of my friends were away. I didn't really have any friends here, but I made such amazing friends, and I really got involved. I am a part of Phi Theta Kappa International Honor. Oops, I hit the microphone. I am a part of Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society, the National Society of Leadership and Success. I've, you know, worked here with Brookdale TV. I've written articles for The Current. I've been on 90.5 The Night. And really everything I've done, I've just had such a good time. So I'd really tell them to just put the fear aside and go for it. Put the fear aside, go for it, get involved. And yeah. we, will, uh, we will actually have an involvement fair uh, in the first week or two of September um, for the Student Life and Activities Board. So for any new freshmen watching this episode, Definitely get involved as soon as possible. Reach out to any club leaders or any uh, any clubs or anyone you know that may be connected within the club. And if anything, reach out to the Student Life and Activities Board if you don't know anyone, and we'll try and uh, connect you as quick as possible to those leaders uh, to get you involved. Uh, but uh, Victoria, I do want to thank you. One more question for you. Looking again, looking back on your career in Brookdale. What is the one lesson that you will take from here that you know that you will be taking on throughout the rest of your life's journey? Definitely to just go for it because I've had so many opportunities here and if I was nervous or held back, I wouldn't have been able to go forward with them. So I think just, you know, like I said before, put the fear aside and just go for it. Get all of those opportunities, take as many as you can. So that concludes our time here. For everyone here in Brookdale TV and Brookdale Community College, my name is Dominic Sama saying so long, and we'll see you next time once again here on Brookdale TV.